Hi, beautiful people. I'm back again with another thought talk. And today, we'll be talking about betrayal. Betrayal, it could happen between family members. It could happen between lovers. It could happen between friends. Somebody can just decide to save you with a breakfast. So in today's lecture, we'll be talking on how do you recover from betrayal? That is, how do you recover when you are being betrayed or when you are the one that even betrayed another person? So we're looking at both sides. The first thing you need to understand is, what is the definition of betrayal? So betrayal is someone you trust breaks the trust you had for them by doing something that hurts you. That's a simple definition of betrayal. And then we want to look at how do you recover from this betrayal? So the first thing you do, today we'll be focusing on singles. Singles, maybe those in a relationship, about getting married, or those that are not yet married or trying to get married. That's it, singles in a relationship. So how do you recover from, when, how do you recover when you are being betrayed? So the first thing is acknowledge the betrayer. Just acknowledge that you've betrayed, is, you acknowledge that you betrayed someone or you acknowledge that you've been betrayed. Let's take for example, when a patient visits the hospital and then the doctor found out that this patient is having a terminal illness, sometimes it's difficult for the patient to come to terms with this reality. You know, there could be a denial stage like, how come, how did it happen, and all of that. You know, at this stage, there's nothing anybody could do to help this individual. Because sometimes, whatever treatment the doctor may want to give, the patient is not even ready to accept such, because the patient is doubting that, no, it's not. But once the patient comes to realization that this is real, oh, this, what the doctor just said, it's real, then the individual can embrace treatment on how to heal from such, or how, to, how such ailments can be properly managed. So it's the same thing with this betrayal we are talking about. So if someone has betrayed you, and then the first thing for you to do, acknowledge that you've been betrayed. Don't um, be elusive or be in the illusion, oh, it's not real, how can this happen? Can this be real? I will not accept all of that. No, acknowledge that it has happened, and then how do we solve this issue? How do we manage the situation? Or even if you were the one that betrayed someone, acknowledge that you've done, you've, you've done something wrong. How do you make correction, or how do you move on? So the first thing after the acknowledge, the first thing is that you acknowledge yourself, acknowledge that you've been betrayed, and then the next thing is don't lose yourself. You know, value yourself. If you've been betrayed, value yourself that it's not the end of the world. If you have betrayed someone, value yourself also. Don't come to terms that oh, I betrayed this person, oh, uh, and then you are feeling so worthless. How oh, do I move on from here? Or the person they've betrayed is like, oh, this person has betrayed me. There's no other life again. There's no way I can I, I can heal from this. There's no way I can survive this. No. So the second step, like I mentioned, is don't lose yourself. Value yourself. And both parties should understand that what is meant to be will be. What is meant to be will be. So if somebody betrayed you and you see it, no, 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 this, this, you, you cannot tolerate it. Then you show that the person is not even meant to be there for you in the first place. And then irrespective of whatever the person has done to you, don't lose yourself. Focus on yourself. How to be a better person. How, how, how to move on. Then reflect on what has happened. Reflect on what led to this betrayal and where you can make corrections. And then improve on yourself. Appreciate yourself. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to grieve. Because grieving sometimes is healing. It heals. When you grieve, you heal. So it's okay to grieve. It's okay for you to take a break. But don't retaliate. Don't retaliate. Don't revenge. Because when you don't do all these things, you'll be able to know how to be a better person after this whole process. And then definitely whoever betrayed you will definitely get a better... Both of you follow this, these uh, rules I've mentioned now. You will definitely see that someone, some, you will definitely meet someone else. If both of you are ready to part ways that, okay, since you've done this, I'm not willing to be in the relationship again, you will definitely meet someone else that will value you. You will definitely meet someone else that will love you for who you are. And then you learn from what you have done. If you are the one that betrayed someone, you learn from it. Don't see it as the end of the world. And if you are the person that betrayed, also don't see it as, oh, it's time for you to give up. Don't give up because the best will definitely come. It's a time for you to invest in yourself. It's a time for you to learn from what happened. And then you move on. Value yourself. The main summary of this is, number one, following a betrayer, value yourself. Even after you've been betrayed, value yourself. After you've betrayed someone, value, and the person is willing to leave you, value yourself. Love yourself. Improve on yourself. Learn from your errors. Learn from, learn from the mistake that you've made. And then correct such so, so that such will not happen next time. And definitely you will meet someone. 
that will love you and appreciate you for who you are. So it's not the time to give up. It's not the time to sit at the end of the world and you will definitely come back smiling. Thank you so much for today's, uh, for today's um, talk. I'll see you next time. Bye.